favorite, favorite ads that I've ever done on this show. And that's part of the reason why I play the crap out of it. <laughs> I just love the fact that technology has gotten us so far that we are now able to promote that kind of stuff on the air. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Who would have thought that, you know, flying cars, all that stuff. Ah. Ah. We need sex dolls in Cleveland. That's what we need. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Hell of a deal, as they say. Yes, we will call him on the old telephone. Let's try this uh, video. Let's try audio. Let's see what happens. I had him written down, but apparently this says something else. I... Hey, brother, hold on. Hey, what's going on, sir? I'm putting you in. Here we go. Get my ear earbuds on. Can you hear me okay, James? <laughs> yes, I've got you. How are you, sir? You well. Oh, there we go. Good to hear your voice, man. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'll tell you. It just, it's so strange when I when I see all this various stuff going on. I just, <laughs> I had to have you on today because there was there was two things that I just had to talk to you about. First of all, this, uh, I love this, that Los Angeles is going to do a, they won't call it universal basic income, but they'll call it guaranteed basic income. Yeah, well, it's like critical race theory. They just change the name and say they're not teaching it. I, the thing I think is funny is that they say that they're going to, uh, where was the number here? Something about they're going to give people 500 bucks or whatever every month. I'm like, 500 bucks in Los Angeles? Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. $500? What's that going to What's that gonna do? Maybe fill your car up for a couple weeks? <laughs> even, even if we sink to the depth. Uh oh. Did we lose no, it? No, because I. There we are. Poor connection, supposedly. It's going to reconnect. This is going to happen all day. Because my internet's been crap. My internet has been crap. See a thousand, I might be able to get behind, but the original number I'd heard was five. Original number I'd heard was five, and I'm like, "Are you kidding me? <laughs> five hundred bucks? What am I gonna do? Fill the car up for that? A thousand, though. I can do a thousand. Still connected to some kind of Wi-Fi, and then I lost it. So we there, should be good now. There we are. Are 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 we good? Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Apparently, the updated number, which is a little bit better, but still, it's Los Angeles, so this ain't gonna go far. A thousand dollars, supposedly, according to the updated number, and I'm like, well, a thousand in the middle of Texas or Kansas or something like that might work, but. They're going to give people $1,000 in L.A. What's that going to do for you? Might pay your rent, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> if you've got six roommates. That's that right. That are also on wealth. That's right. <laughs> I just... So, why exactly does... Well, for, first of all, for, for, first of all, why are these people that are in power so tone deaf to not give people more money, and then second, why are they giving them any money at all? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let's start with a second question. I mean, okay. look, they've, they've long been after this universal basic income. Let, let's remember this, too. You know, the, the, the reason you have insane prices, uh, lack of, of, of livable wages, is the policies from the Democrat Party out here in California, for example. They're really to begin with. And so they have a problem, like we always talk about, and their answer is government, right? So the, the point is, it's just an expansion of the welfare state because, look, Human nature is such that if you start giving people an allowance, if you will, and there's no string to t- strings attached, by the way, it's just saying, here's free money. These are, they're not going to tap into their human nature, which says, hey, I want to go back to school. I want to you know, get a skill set that's going to provide for my family. So they're actually, uh, you know, it's like, it's like the saying, if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach a man a fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. Well, Democrats don't want to teach someone to fish. They want to give them a fish and have them keep coming so they're dependent upon them. So it's a way of, 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 of solidifying these opportunity because if you come along and somebody's pimp on dollars a month, whatever it is, you know, you try and take that away and people are going to lose their minds. They're going to get used to it. Yes. And, you know, I, I, I just, I, I, I don't know. I just find this so strange that if, if they've got... If they've got this much money that they're going to invest into this stuff, and it's L.A., and they're going to go, oh, we're going to give you a thousand. What's a thousand going to do in Los Angeles? It's like if 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 you're only going to yeah, give people gonna, a thousand, do don't bother is what I say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, let's let's not kid ourselves into thinking we actually have that money to begin with. I mean. Just from the federal level to the state governments, I mean, there's no surpluses anywhere. I mean, we're, we're in debt. Uh, yes. And so, you know, taking money and spreading it around, you know, to these other individuals, I mean, it's not solving any problem. I mean, if you had people who were actually humane in the Democrat Party, who actually cared about their base, they would be, they would be investing that money in, for example, giving them opportunities to educate themselves, giving them, giving them opportunities to go to other schools with a voucher system like we talked about before. That's what you do. You, you, the goal isn't to get somebody dependent upon you. It's, it's like if you're a parent. You don't want your kid on the dole, your own dole forever. The goal is to get them out the door and, and you know, sustain themselves on their own without coming to you and asking for money all the time. That's what you do as a parent. And we have yes. a deep relationship with our government right now, which does not have our best interest at heart. I mean, you know, they'll, they'll pitch this as like, look, we just want to help you out. But they're the ones who created the situation in which these minority communities are living in a state of perpetual malaise uh, to begin with. I mean, they're responsible for the education system. They're, they're responsible for, for you know, uh, cleaning up crime in these areas and homelessness and everything else. But it only gets worse every year. Yes. Yes. We've got Drew Allen with us today. Drew Allen is available online. He's got the Drew Allen podcast, and uh, he is amazing. And Drew joins us today here on our big broadcast. So another another story that I want to get your take on.